All right, today I'll be talking about a book called Atomic Habits by James Clear. And specifically, I'll be talking about what he calls a neurological habit loop. And it's basically four items that when they work well together, it creates an automatic habit. So the first, ha the first part of the habit loop is the cue. So basically, your, your brain is always scanning the environment and it's looking for hints of where rewards are located. And because the cue is the first indication that we're close to a reward, it naturally leads to a craving. A cue can be something like if you set your shoes by the front door, you notice that shoe there and it, it cre can create a craving to go on a run. So that's the cue. Craving is the second part, and this is uh, basically the motivational force behind every habit. Without some level of motivation or desire, without craving a change, we have no reason to act. And what you crave is not the actual habit itself, but the change of state that it produces. Uh, so when you go smoke a cigarette, you're craving the um, feeling of relaxation that it produces. Uh, when you brush your teeth, you're craving that feeling of a clean mouth after you're done. Uh, so basically every craving is linked to a desire to change your internal state. Uh, number three is the response. So this is the actual habit that you perform. And whether a response occurs or not depends um, more importantly on one, uh, how motivated you are, and two, how much friction there is associated with the behavior. And by friction, what he means is how much energy do you have to take to, to um, produce this response? In other words, if I want to go to the gym, but my gym bags and my car and my running shoes are upstairs and I got to do a couple other things that's a lot more friction and in my brain I, I'm thinking about all these all these steps I have to take and I'll just pass but if all my gym bag is in my car the gym is right down the street there's much less friction and it's way easier for habits to develop and then the last thing is the reward so rewards are the angle of every habit and basically Rewards teach us which actions are worth remembering in the future. So your brain is a reward detector, and as you go about your life, your nervous system is continuously monitoring which actions satisfy your desires and deliver your pleasure. So feelings of pleasure and disappointment are part of the feedback mechanism that helps your brain distinguish useful actions from useless ones. Rewards close the feedback loop and complete the habit cycle. In other words, if you have a reward, reward that's strong enough, then every time you're exposed to that cue, it's going to develop a strong craving because you've associated that reward with the cue. So that's the basic understanding of the neurological feedback uh, habit loop that he talks about. And in the next video, I'll talk more about how to utilize that um, to get rid of bad habits and to produce really good habits that you can um, start using in your everyday life that become automatic and don't require a ton of uh, energy. So that's it for today and I hope that helps.